What's up developers and welcome back to a new video where we will be diving into fallback routes. Quick pause. Do you want to support the channel and want me to continue on creating content? Well, you can support the channel on Patreon right now where you get benefits just as a private Discord group where you can share your coding issues and other developers will help you out. If you are interested to join, the link will be in the description down below. The last route type that I want to show you are fallback routes. There is a big chance that the user of your application tries to access a page that doesn't exist. If we change our endpoint to forward slash about, you'll see that we're getting a 404 and the page has not been found. Whenever you implement a fallback route inside your application, it will overwrite the 404 page where you can add way more functionality than a 404 page itself. Fallback routes needs to be defined inside the web.php file at the end of your routes file. So you can place it right above your prefix method right here. So let's go to the bottom. Let's define a new route called fallback route, route colon colon, and the HTTP method that we're going to add right here is called fallback. You could return a function right here that prints out a simple message, or you could call a controller that will output data from the database. So let's look at an example. A user is trying to access a blog post that doesn't exist. Would you want to show him a static message or would you rather show a page where you list all recent blog posts so that the user stays on your web page? Well, I think the second solution is the best. So let's define a new controller inside the CLI. So let's say PHP artisan may call a controller called fallback controller. What we will be doing then is going inside the fallback method where we will directly call our fallback controller. So let's say fallback controller, pull it in, colon, colon, class. So we don't need to define the endpoint. What we will be doing inside our fallback controller, so let's open it, is defining the public function double underscore invoke method because we're simply going to use one method. Right here, we're going to return a view first to fallback dot index. We haven't defined it yet. So let's do that. Let's scroll down and inside the views folder, create a new folder called fallback. And inside the fallback folder, we're going to create a new file called index.blade.php. We're not going to do anything special here yet, but we will definitely do that in a later phase where we will be using eloquent. Inside our index method, let's define an h1, where we're going to return a message of fallback page once a route doesn't exist. If we save it, navigate back to the browser and refresh our endpoint, you'll see that our custom fallback page has overridden the default 404 page and fallback page once a route doesn't exist has been printed out. This was it for this short video where I showed you how you can easily set up a fallback route in Laravel. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.